வெல்கம் டு டாக்டர் காதர் லைஃப் ஸ்டைல் what is the effect of plant growth hormones used in agriculture on the human body is it safe does it affect the hormonal balance in our body if yes how to nullify it no plant growth hormones are uh, completely different not very uh, connected to our hormones because they are auxins and different structural chemistry wise they are different um no our hormone imbalance is not going to be disturbed by the growth hormones of plants but the problem is another dimension it is not that uh, but the 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 material that you are growing itself gets screwed up because the sexual life that is called vegetative growth and sexual growth i mean when the plant starts flowering it takes some amount of vegetable vegetative growth it is called without flowers see if you have a creeper say uh, our pumpkin you know sweet pumpkin it takes it, as soon as the creeper comes you don't get flowers it takes 2 to 3 months of nice vegetative growth creeping here and there and lot of leaves and things like that then only the kicks in the auxins kicks in and then the vegetative growth comes to a standstill and then the flowers start appear and then it takes some more time for the fertilization of the eggs by the uh, andrisium so then the ovum becomes egg and then you start getting your seed and then you you get your fruit or whatever uh, vegetable this is a natural time period is there for say mango it generally takes 7 years now you make hybrid varieties and then genetic modification get your fruit in 1 year or 2 years because you are in a hurry and you want to make more money but then the fruit that is produced after 7 years has certain nutritional value certain kind of chemicals that help the animal that is going to consume why does the plant want the fruit to be consumed by animal because the seeds that are going to come out to your elementary canal are going to generate another tree another tree another tree so that's the reason why you can eat the seeds the fruits of plants because they want you to eat so that you spread it's kind that is the relationship between fauna and flora in the forest different kinds of animals birds eat plants so that they spread these plants all around for far distances so one is not killing the other it is in fact depending on each other for survival for the future generations so this is the cycle so you want to cut short you are obviously not going to have all the right things in the fruit that you have that's why i gave you the example of capsicum yes, the real capsicum takes certain amount of time for it to grow but these guys are shortening the period because they want to harvest and keep harvesting and then do the things you understand so any way you look at it unnatural food is going to trouble you later so it is the the hormone and uh, the growth of the plant is a actually there are lot of viruses on the plants we consume those viruses also but they do not bother us because uh, they cannot disturb <coughs> our immunity they don't they actually it is like uh, our system doesn't recognize them basically and they don't bother us so they are just there but not having any effect so the auxins uh, are not going to bother us because they are not remotely connected to our hormonal chemical structures but some of them can become our hormones but at a later long period but in any case i would want all the people not to eat any of this artificial foods 
whether hybrid or genetically modified, because only natural food is good for you, period. Period. So it is left for us. Hello? Yes. It is left for us to do research to produce natural things in the right way and make everyone's needs met. This is should be our research. And in that regard, our Siridhanya comes in the top list because you can grow them with a wide range of temperatures. Even at 42 degrees, the yields are not going to come down. And you can grow them anywhere on this planet. And codo millet can be grown in winter in cold conditions. And our foxtail millet can be grown in hot conditions. So all these five grains together can serve the human race needs at any given point of time. If we choose them as food. Yeah. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please like, share and don't forget to subscribe our channel, Dr. Khadar Lifestyle. Press the below bell icon to get notifications.